The roots of the Pekingese are in China. However, his Asian origin has only been undisputed since 2017. Because his Chinese descent was doubted, genetic researchers were able to determine this result as part of a genetic analysis. The work was done with over a hundred dog breeds and thousands of dogs. The Pekingese originally made its home in the palace of the Emperor of the Forbidden City in China. For this reason, the small, cute-looking four-legged friend is also called the Beijing Palace Dog. In addition to this naming, the term Lion Dog was also common. But not only the Pekingese was called the Lion Dog, but also the Shih Tzu and Lhasa Apso Dog breeds. According to a Chinese legend, the Buddha, who came from Buddhist teachings, enjoyed the little lion dogs on his travels. In the real world, the faithful companions peaked in popularity during the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1912. However, even in this time frame, they were not dogs for the people. The dog was not allowed to live outside the palace walls. That changed during the Second Opium War when the English conquered Beijing. The British took the captured Peking Palace dogs back to their homeland. European breeding began with them. The dog breed was officially recognized by the British Kennel Club in 1898. Temperament The Pekingese is not a dog that excels in any particular activity. The opposite is the case. As the original palace dog, he learned to be a companion to humans. In this sense, the animal is one of the quietest representatives of its conspecifics. Compared to other dog breeds, he never got to know the world of workers during the industrial age like the Yorkshire Terrier did. In Great Britain, it was a welcome souvenir in smaller groups, especially among the upper classes. This is still the case today. As a lap dog in the women's world, he feels particularly comfortable. As far as space is concerned, the little dog is quite undemanding. He is happy both in a house and in a small apartment. The environment doesn't matter either. Country or big city as habitats are possible. If you live in the city, you don't have to worry about a lack of activities. As a rule, the Pekingese only needs his daily walks to be satisfied. Also, no long distances are necessary as long as his little nose always gets something to sniff. As a trained companion and lap dog, he is used to being physically close to his mistress or master. Because of this, he loves to form close bonds with his favorite human. In addition to its emotional abilities, the hairy creature has intelligence. Diet of the Pekingese Basically, a Pekingese from a healthy breed makes no special demands on its diet. However, this breed of dog tends to become overweight when overfeeding meets lack of exercise. The energy consumption is not high. For this reason, the energy requirement is not. This circumstance makes a high-quality diet necessary to keep the dog healthy with less exercise. The dog owner can choose between dry and wet food. Barf is also an alternative that is compatible with dogs. The dose of dog food should be adapted to age, body weight, and the urge to move. Ideally, the feed that is well portioned according to these factors does not contain any grain. Potential dog owners should get a scale because regular weighing may be useful for this dog. A change in weight that has an adverse effect on health can then be reacted to in good time. If the dog becomes overweight and the dog is on a diet, the change in diet should not take place from one day to the next. The new feed should be gradually mixed in. This way the dog can get used to the new dog food without any digestive problems. If the little companion lives up to its energy requirements properly, treats are also allowed. These should not contain sugar. 
In principle, high-quality feed should not contain any artificial flavors, preservatives, or additives. Health, life expectancy, and common diseases. Life expectancy is 12 to 15 years. Within the years of life of the Pekingese, typical clinical pictures can appear. For example, breathing problems as a result of short snouts, brachycephaly, are a common problem. Unfortunately, this dog breed is officially one of the victims of torture breeding. The existing shortness of breath is bred by the flat muzzle and the overlying thick skin fold. Things looked different 50 years ago, the dog was characterized by a clear muzzle, coat suitable for everyday use, normal eyes and well-functioning legs. With the supremacy of breeding in Great Britain, these characteristics have largely disappeared. Severely overbred dogs of this breed cannot live a life befitting a canine. Protruding eyes make sniffing in the woods impossible due to the risk of injury. The flat snout makes breathing difficult in hot weather. In this respect, the dog does not tolerate heat. Unlike other miniature dog breeds, nature has equipped the Pekingese's coat with an undercoat. It also protects the dog in the cold. Sensitivity to cold cannot be spoken of. However, dog owners describe the animal more as a couch potato who rejects the cold out of a subjective feeling. The pet owner should also pay attention to the weight, especially if the dog is only allowed to enjoy short walks. The energy level is then not high. The dog's body uses less energy. Too much food that is not adapted to the current energy requirements can therefore lead to obesity. Due to the many problems that an unhealthily bred Pekingese brings with it, Visits to the vet are far more frequent compared to other dog breeds. Is the Pekingese right for me? The one-time palace dog is considered a lap dog. This is clearly shown in the historical development. Even with its appearance in Europe, this has not changed. As a valued souvenir, it fulfills the task of a companion dog in social circles. The animal does not need much exercise. This is due to his calm nature, but also to his rather detrimental physical sensitivities that faulty breeding has bestowed on him. Especially on hot days, the dog, who likes to sniff, suffers from shortness of breath due to its flat snout. Interested parties who still want to get a Pekingese don't need much space in their own home but you should take your time to pay attention. The animal is very devoted to its owner and needs a deep emotional bond to be happy. A family gets along well with a small dog. It is also suitable for children to go for a walk. The Pekingese is also an ideal companion for seniors and singles. Above all, older people who can no longer move quickly benefit from the calm nature. This is where human and dog characteristics come together that go well together. If the dog is well trained, seniors do not have to expect the animal to constantly pull impatiently on the leash. The dog does not have to be kept on a leash. As a loyal companion, he always stays close to his mistress or master. Again, seniors can rely on the Pekingese. Let us know in the comments below so we can continue being proud of this breed walking among us. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.